Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Pilot's Life Chapter 2. A uh, little update, I am flying for Ryanair now. Uh, they basically came in at like 10 cents less of what WestJet was paying me. Uh, the reason why I went with Ryanair is because they do fly A320s, uh, one of their subsidiaries do. And it's kind of embedded within Ryanair. And it just goes under Ryanair call sign. It goes under the Lada Europe livery, though. Which is a subsidiary of theirs for the A320s. Uh, the schedule that I got here in front of you. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because the first four flights are back and forth to the same airports. They're from Berlin to Palm de la Marco or Marca, Spain. Back and forth, four flights. Uh, So, I don't know if I want to do them in one setting. Because they are roughly three hour flights a piece. I know, I know for a fact that I am going to be live streaming, so this is going to be the last quote-unquote video I do of uh, I'm not sure if there's a good way of doing this but I need to how can I say it I need to find better better ways of video editing and more time to video edit Unfortunately, I'm at that time of the year where my job is going to keep me limited to what I can and can't do. Just be real with you guys. Also, there is a new career mode out. It's called. It just came out tonight, or today, or la or last night, or whatever. It's called Passenger Two. And I was like reading the manual on this, and you can do free flights or you can do quote unquote their career mode. And when I when I'm looking at it and everything, I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. You know, you get to. Basically, it's almost like on air is where you get to manage your own airline. The only difference is it looks like it's more geared towards like a pilot's life is where you fly for actual airlines or you make your own airline yourself. And it looks very, very interesting. Yeah, you choose a name for your airline. Chart, no, you start, choose your two letter ADA code. For your airline. So what I was planning on doing with with passenger two And 
if you do fly with a virtual airline, maybe they're in the list or whatever, and you can just choose from that virtual airline. So uh, it looks like it's very well done. And I can choose the A320 right out the gate. I can choose the Boeing 737-8 if I want. And all that. And then to have everything handled. You know, basically start up a company from the ground up. And basically go, like, okay, well, I got my initial investment from, let's say, Southwest. Let's say, and that's more likely where I'm going to go with this is that I'm going to be a subsidiary of Southwest. I'm going to just call myself Southeast instead. And basically, I'm just going to fly around the Southeast and stuff. You know, fly into Florida, fly into course you know I have my home base as Hartsfield just because I'm more comfortable with that as far as the airport goes but make little short hops from like Hartsfield over to Birmingham or something of that nature or up to Charlotte up to Tennessee Stuff like that. Probably won't go no further than probably Houston or Dallas. And probably won't go as far north as Oklahoma. Just to start out with and just try to keep me between basically North Carolina. I'll probably go... I'll probably end up doing North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Birmingham, uh, Alabama, uh, both Memphis and and Nashville. And then I'll probably end up doing out to Arkansas. Possibly uh, possibly Missouri. It dep Missouri it depends on. Lift that electrical socket if you want, Cat. You're going to Get, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. Good lord, she is a goober. <laughs> well, you know, do stuff like that and everything. I think Passenger 2 is going to be pretty awesome in that in that regard. And then basically when I become more reputable and stuff like that, I'll start expanding the market. You know, I might start off with the A320 and then might go into the Boeing. Stuff like that. I mean, that's their career mode. It looks interesting. It looks nice. But they also do have a free flight mode where I'm planning on doing the Ryanair stuff. And, you know, having the video and passenger simulation as well going on.
What are you doing? What are you doing? But yeah, so that's what we're going to end up doing more likely. Is I'm going to end up using probably... I, I'm going to just give the 30 minute trial to passenger 2. And just see how it does like off of pushback and stuff and everything and see if I actually like it. I mean, by the looks of it, you know, you got your flight report, just like you do here. Uh, then you got like flight services. You know, choose when to serve your passengers or set it to automatic. Basically, I'll probably set it to automatic. Enable the automation of... I'm kind of like looking and reading here in the manual. You know, duty-free on international for, on international flights will help give you an extra cash boost. Yep. Not planning to do international flights at the moment. It's all planned to be, well, for them it's local, so. Enable automation of the seatbelt sign, which, thank God. They will go off when the passion 2 detects cruising altitude and switch it back on when it detects descent. Thank you very much. Uh, service automated, enable automated service for food or drink, trash, and duty free if applicable. It will do the food and drink service followed by the trash service every four hours. Okay. Descent will trigger the, the descent announcement when passing due to text descent. Okay, so climb, seatbelt signs off. Flight service off. Descent off. Huh? Yeah, I gotta play with that because climb, I will still, me personally, seatbelt signs stay on until you get up to cruise. On short flights like this like these two I probably wouldn't even do flight service on on this because it's only a one hour flight so yeah flight service off on those flight service on on the others seatbelt sign basically for this yeah seatbelt signs can come off at 10,000 feet here And then uh, they also have emergencies. So you can do a standby, a divert, emergency landing, brace, evacuate. Okay, well, standby will alert the cabin with a PA to let them know there is a situation on board that you are currently investigating. It turns out to be a false. If it turns out to be a fossil alarm, then you can cancel this action. Okay. Divert. This will alert the cabin that you intend to divert the flight. Emergency landing will require you to select if it's landing on water or on land. Of course, brace. And then, of course, evacuate. Random events. As the captain, you need to be ready for anything. The interphone can ring at any time with a report of something happening in the cabin. How would you react? Oh, it varies from a drunk passenger. 
to oven fries. What? Medical situations to slow decompressions, toxic, toxic smells to missing luggage. Interesting. But yeah, it seems very, very interesting. I mean, and the beautiful thing is too, like, let me accept this schedule because I actually like this schedule. Yes. If you go in here to the flight, you can divert to an airport. So if something like that comes up, you know, I'll be like, oh, hey, hey, okay, well, we have this medical situation on board. We, can, we need to divert. And the thing is, is that I haven't seen an FS HUD yet where you can divert. Now, I can't remember if the default ATC allowed you to go to the nearest airport or not as a diversion. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh yeah, I got to change everything to hectopascals too. That reminds me. But all right, well, I will see you all later. Enough rambling. And I will have a proper introduction flight to or into Ryanair. Wait, where am I? Am I flying from here? Oh. Oh, shit. I didn't know that was off the island. Actually. I need... It looks like they might accept some heavies. Because I see double gates here. Oh, plane spotting. Nice. They have an area for plane spotting. How nice. Okay. That's an interesting flight. Alrighty, guys. Let me go on ahead and uh, try to set this up. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am off a holiday from Thanksgiving and everything. I spent Thanksgiving down in Atlanta with my family. WestJet was kind enough to fly me back. And when I signed on with Ryanair a little while ago, I was on the next flight out to Barcelona. Surprisingly, more, more so than Dublin. But that's because my first flight is out of one of the southernmost islands of Spain and I kind of don't want to butcher the name or anything so it's uh, Lima Echo Papa Alpha is where I'm flying out of today or not today or well, maybe later on today I don't know 
but right now we are in this beautiful Delta 195 A339. Going to Barcelona. As you see, we're just passing flight level 150. Our cruising altitude today is actually pretty low. It's at 290. or zero. But I think that's because we're going to go a high rate of speed. To get out to Barcelona. But I look forward to uh, flying Ryanair with everybody. So why this flight is going on and stuff. Uh, I will be getting some shut-eye here shortly after I feed Maya. And basically, uh, I'm going to do what I was talking about. I was going to leave the Ryanair stuff as is with a pilot's life and use passenger two as quote unquote boarding passenger simulation type of deal. And basically start my own air management career. And I kind of want to do, like I said, like a subsidiary of Southwest or something of that nature. QNH. Set that to standard. Alright, so everything looks good. Yep, yep, yep. Just in the cabin. And we'll be at our cruise level here shortly. I'm basically using no ATC for this flight or anything of that nature. I didn't feel like turning it on. I wanted to see how the passenger two thing worked and everything. And I got a chance to see that. Uh, But yeah, I'm looking forward to these Ryanair flights. It's going to be very interesting. And it's going to make good work of FS2 crew. Because I use SOP2, which is technically based off of Ryanair procedures. So, yeah, and I believe SOP 3, when eventually that comes out for the PMDG 737, I think that is based off of Southwest, but don't quote me on that. If it is, I am going to try my hardest with a pilot's life to get to Southwest level. Just saying. And a lot of people I know are going to probably ask me if I'm going to get 
or at least I've been asked on the Discord servers if I'm going to get FS2 crew for the Phoenix and get the I guess we can say the uh, animated body in there as well. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys, I plan on getting. I plan on getting that and animate it. I plan on getting the Raz. I am figuring out slowly how GSX works with the PMDG. And basically, I can't... Basically, I can't touch the FMC and the PMDG. I have to let it do its own thing. Which, for right now, that's fine because as pilot flying for SOP2, it's my job to input that in anyways. I just need to make sure that I board the plane and I refuel before the first officer comes back in the plane when he goes out for his walk around. Because the first officer will go into the FMC. That's something I noticed. And with passenger two, I believe I can actually download the Ryanair logo. And uh, stuff like that. And we're going to do Ryanair the right way. Basically going to come off of. Off of stands. The jetways. We're going to do it the true Ryanair way. Or at least that's my hope and dreams. And if I'm not doing it the Ryanair way. Please somebody let me know. And why do I have a flight discontinuity right here? I just seen that. <laughs> Make sure there ain't any more. Actually, I probably need to set up the... That's my ocean tracks. Let's top a descent. And there's that. Uh, let me see what I can do. Let me see what kind of approaches are in on. Uh, I don't care about the approach. That's going to be my best bet is to come in off of that one. Okay, never mind. Alright, 
let's go on ahead and set up our arrival, since I already know what it is. As far as I know, I am run, uh, landing on two Zulu. And we are coming in off of the Garu 3 November. Or Garu 3 November. Yep. Uh, are we coming in off of any transition? Or are we coming in off of Vias? Hold on. Just double checking everything. Hmm. Yeah, transitions TOT t is it's Tango Oscar Tango two November. Which I guess is this right here. So, we'll put that in there. Uh, yep. And... Done. Now let's check. God, how have I missed this? So I'm basically going to clear myself down to flight level seven. Yeah, I might clear myself down to flight level eight. Zero zero. Let me see if there's any restriction on this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want to view the chart. This is Toki. Oh, see, this is just dead wrong. Toki, I'm supposed to be above 4,000. Or at or above 4,000. Let's see what they got in here for Toki. Yeah, plus 4,000. Okay. And speed of 220. Yep. Just want to make sure that that was right. Sometimes it's not always right. Delta one nine five Tango. So our call sign cost index of one twenty. I can since we're at cruising altitude. I do got some fuel to burn. Push this up to the max. 0.85 Mach. And we got a tailwind too. And 
and I probably need to check. Um, does it give me the current weather at this altitude or no? I believe that weather's like an hour behind schedule because the wind was just gusting here about an hour, hour and a half ago. One zero five two zero. Eh, maybe, maybe not. do just to be on the safe side because there are cloud cover here we're gonna go up here turn on our probe heat what oh, I'm I missed that I'm gonna turn all this on while I'm here Point eight four. And the next time you see me, guys, we'll be in. Be a spade. Ooh, sorry for Ryan there. Later. Peace. Good afternoon or good evening where I'm at. Uh, we are currently just now crossing over the Atlantic into the northern part of Spain. It's only a matter of, of an hour or so now before I land in Barcelona and start flying for Ryanair. We are uh, basically going to have to take a boat out to the to the little island of where the airport is located. And I am going out on a yacht, apparently. Ryanair has ex paid all, no expense paid towards me to get me out towards the aircraft that they need me to fly. They could have just easily said, hey, hop on a Learjet or hop on a little business, you know, 737 business jet or something and get out over there. Now they're going to send me by sea. That's pretty awesome. And just judging by those clouds down there, it looks like we're in for a little rough weather when we land in Barcelona. Although this is still over the Atlantic. But it is what it is. As you can tell by the... The scenery and stuff, it, it is getting darker. So this is going to be a... Night landing. You know that we did kind of take out... Rocket ship status. Avalanche. We were over the ocean within like less than about 30, 40 minutes. And then for some reason the pilot decided to back down on the speed. Don't know why.
Because we would have, if he would have kept at the speed, we would have landed about this time. But I think he was trying to conserve fuel. Anyways, guys. I will see you all later. And I know pretty soon we're going to be getting close to the top of the descent. And we're going to be in Barcelona. And starting to fly for Ryanair. If you're liking these videos and stuff, give me a thumbs up and all that. This is going to probably be the last edit video that I do for a while. I plan on just doing these on live stream. It's just easier for me to deal with. Right now, especially during the busy season, during the holiday season, I can actually focus on my job and not worry have to about doing any kind of... Uh, what do we call it? Doing any kind of video editing or anything. Hopefully the only video editing I have to do would be for feel there. As I do have some connections with them and stuff. So whenever they do call upon me to do advertisements for them. Those will be the times I'll be making the videos, and I will be playing them on the stream. But, anyways, guys, later.